Hello, hello again. Today is a little different, as you guys can definitely see. I normally just do the tombstones, but a friend of mine came to me right before Christmas and said I really wanted a zero doghouse from Nightmare Before Christmas. And I said, you know what, that's a little different. Yeah, let me do that. So this is me basically just getting all of my pieces together. I'm shaping it out. I'm just cutting out all the pieces. I do have some, uh, I guess, certain materials that I'm going to be pointing out that I'm using. But this is really not really a how to. It's just if you want to see how I make it and then <clears throat> that's how you guys can make it. It was really not that hard. It was time consuming, but overall, it wasn't a hard build. So here I'm taking my drill. This is so I can do some pilot holes. And I went out and just got these specifically for this build. They're the six by five eighths length. These were perfect. And these are gonna be used to attach the, the frame. It, it actually does even come with the drill bit, which is nice. Um, I'm gonna attach these one by twos to uh, these are the panels that are going to be used for the sides and the back. And I'm just sinking the, uh, the uh, screws in. And then you're going to see in the next scene where I'm actually assembling the structure. Here you can see it's mostly assembled as of right now. And you can see how I used the one by twos as the, the frame 
that it was going to be sunk into. I also needed to keep this thing light because it was going to be having to be picked up and moved. So I really didn't want anything terribly heavy. But as you can see, I filled in the gaps with uh, just regular glue, just so there was no uh, noticeable gaps. Um, but if you were to ask, do I have these plans written down? Did I do anything with a blueprint or any of that? No. And I can't tell you why, because I myself don't know why. I am always the one that gets something in my mind. If I've never done it before, I'll sit down, I'll think about it and go, all right, I'm going to Lowe's. And then I go and I buy the wood, I buy whatever I need. And I just make it. Like, I don't even think about it. I just make it. So I'm very, very happy with the way this came out. And you can see now that the, the roof is on. Uh, did the same thing with the roof. So this way it was easily attached. Now, this was the fun part. I actually took foam and I put the foam over it. Uh, I, I needed it to be weatherproof. So I figured, you know what, it's the, the foam is the best to weatherproof with this. Uh, so I, I just cut off um, from, I think they were, it was a half inch uh, foam. And now this is me making uh, the, the shingles that go along the, the roof. This was very time consuming, but it came out so cute. So here we are, everything's assembled. I'm sorry I didn't show like the making of the cross or putting on the top section, but um, I was just kind of running like a mad person because it was like I was crazy with orders and stuff. So um, I had to kind of get this together real quick uh, without the video, but it, it came out re really, really good. Um, it's completely weatherproof. It is not going to get wet on the inside. The wood is completely protected. Um, everything is, any gap is filled in. Everything is completely sealed. And um, I did pull uh, the dog face off and his little bones because I decided, you know what? It's gonna be a little bit easier to paint the other way. So I just removed him and I was gonna do the inside of the doorway and then when I'm done, I'm gonna glue him right back on.
and here it is the finished result it came out really good it took about three weeks to make only because I did have other orders going on and I had to juggle a couple things with that but all in all it was pretty smooth and uh, my friend she loved it she absolutely loved it and there's a picture at the end of it in her yard I think it came out super cute but uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys for stopping in, checking out my video, and if you got any questions, let me know. If not, I hope you enjoyed it.